In the Unresolved Problems segment tonight, are the midterms shaping up to be a bare-knuckled brawl with the GOP delivering political cross-cuts against the president? Well, Alaska Republican Joe Miller, once down 30 points in the polls, defeated the GOP incumbent Lisa Murkowski in the state senatorial primary this week. After vanquishing Senator Murkowski, Mr. Miller took aim squarely at the president. If you had to, in a sentence or two, describe Barack Obama, how would you do that? Bad for America. That's one sentence. You don't get that often out of a politician. I don't know what do you base that. Well, I mean, he's one of the major forces moving this country uh, towards socialism. He's expanding the entitlement state. It is the wrong direction for America. Question, is this the right way for the right to beat the Democrats in November? Joining us now from Los Angeles is Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and from New York, Kathy Aru, publisher of Catalina Magazine. Uh, ladies, great to see you. Uh, let, let's get into this. Uh, first of all, we're going to uh, tackle uh, the Republicans' rhetoric toward President Obama. You know, obviously, Joe Miller is new to politics. He's somebody that I had on my radio show, I think it was back in June or July, and people were just like, Laura, what are you talking about? Joe Miller, he's, he has no money, and he's down, I think at that point, 27 points in the polls. But I saw something in him that I thought was different. West Point graduate, Ph.D. from Yale, uh, you know, guy who's pretty straight, straightforward, common sense kind of guy. Uh, what's your take on what he said on the uh, other network last night? Um, well, I think he's completely a radical. To say that Obama is bad for America is just so silly. It's so radical. It's so all the way to the right. And I don't think people are responding well to, to politicians who are so to the right. I think it was more of an anti murkowski vote than maybe a pro-Miller vote. I, I don't think people are going to respond well when they find out that he's actually bad for America. I mean, he's anti-funding for public education. He's anti-social security. He's anti so how did he win? So he won just because people don't like Lisa Murkowski? Yeah, I mean, he's, her, her name is like gold in Alaska, her incredible name recognition and not an incredible really. amount of money. Leslie, you can talk about that. I mean, Murkowski, whatever you like her or not, she had the name recognition, the family history, and the money. What Miller had was a Palin endorsement, some of us in talk radio, and he was able to have some last-minute momentum and an anti-establishment uh, mindset. Uh, but what's your take on this approach to Obama, who he is, where he's taking the country? Well, you know, Laura, I think he and the Republicans need some new material. I have not seen any Republican uh, try and repeal Medicare, Social Security, to socialist programs, saying that the president or any Democrat in the White House is a socialist, is, is old, ask the RNC for some money and get a new speechwriter. It's, it's not effective, in my opinion, because it's, it's, it's been said before, and, and it's getting old not only uh, for certainly Democrats listening, but for the Republicans, and it's splitting their party, as I think we'll see in a Alaska. Alaska has a lot of independents, and independents don't want to hear this right to the right within the Republican Party kind of talk. And I think we're well, going to I, see that you know, in November. I, I think I think the polls are showing that a lot of people do believe that Barack Obama's policies have been bad to America for America. And what he said was his policies are taking down uh, us down the road to more you know socialist uh, government, socialist uh, approach to things, more spreading the wealth, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm not sure in that interview he called him a directly a socialist, but you have to offer ideas. I would agree with you there. Let's move on to Sarah Palin and this Vanity Fair piece. And Kathy, you can comment on this. I mean, I see the left as absolutely beside themselves about Sarah Palin. I mean, this article goes into whether she's a good tipper, whether she, you know, has a, you know, she's a short on patience. I mean, the, the details this goes into, yeah. and yet quoting nobody on the record, only one person quoted on the record in this entire piece. What gives? Well, I, I believe the writer. I really believe that he did interview these people. Just because he doesn't necessarily have names doesn't mean he didn't go around and interview housekeepers and uh, wait staff and people who actually didn't get tipped by Sarah Palin. So because Sarah Palin wouldn't talk to him on the record, he had to go and ask the housekeepers about her. And the housekeepers Okay, so he said, didn't have an agenda. I mean, he, this guy doesn't have just, an agenda. It was, do you think, Leslie, we're journalism. almost out of time. Leslie, do you think that this type of article would ever be written in Vanity Fair with this type of bare knuckles approach? about Michelle Obama ever? Well, Michelle Obama is not uh, uh, a VP how do you know? on a ticket. At, well, no, she hasn't no, been you, a VP you, on no, a no. ticket. How do you know? Uh, well, she's, no, a, she's, she's one of the most important political figures mm -hmm. in the United States and best known, uh, I'd say, figures in the world today. They do all sorts of profiles in Vanity Fair, media figures. and all. Do you ever think that they'd, they'd take that approach to Michelle Obama? Why is it always Palin? 
Well, it's not just Palin. Hillary Rodham Clinton has gotten killed in almost every form of print media, even on the left for crying out loud through the years. I think if Sarah Palin plans on running in 2012, things like this are going to happen. And as a woman, you ever notice it happens with women, right or left, much more so than men? Yeah, well, I, I just, it would be nice if some of these brave souls actually went on the record. What are they afraid of? Sarah Palin? Come on. Great to see you guys. And coming up,